Well, damn, Leo. Oh, the video had got cut off the first one. I guess I ran out of memory and shit. Hopefully this one don't get cut off. I deleted and made some room on my phone. I ain't did that in a while. So basically, what we left off from last time, Leo? Basically, some motherfucking body that you was attached to, you are setting up boundaries. I think what was hidden is that some motherfucking body got envy and they're jealous of you. And it's a, some type of feminine energy or someone is jealous of your divine feminine. I don't know. But there's some fighting going on, some competition. Someone trying to explore their options. I think the outcome in your shit was that you had, um, we're going to set up some boundaries. I don't know, but we're going to get back into it, Leo. This is your bonus pop-up love reading since it's your motherfucking birthday. Okay? Okay. All right, Leos. Where we is at? What we going to do? What we going to do? Let's get an energy card. We already did this one. Where them love angels at? Love Oracle. Give me a moment, Leo. Give me a moment to get my shit together. Is it in here? There we go. All right, we're gonna pull a love angel or <laughs> cause you set up some boundaries or somebody is Leo. If it's not you doing it, it's somebody doing it in your life. Uh, the person you dealing with, I think they. If you're currently dealing with, I think they had the angel of love in the reverse. They don't love themselves. They got lower self-esteem or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. Go back and watch the video on part one. So we just going to basically start all over from scratch. Because Leo's gets a bonus reading because it's y'all motherfucking birthday. <laughs> I love Leo's. My mom was a Leo. I one of my favorite people's. Okay. Oh, what's this? Religious factors in reverse. Maybe that was an issue before. And now it's not an issue. Is this, is this deck upside down? Okay, let's do this again, Leo. Let me let me check now. Oh, it's up, some upside right, some upside down. Okay. Holy Spirit, Ancestor Spirit, guys, Archangel Michael. Oh, you motherfuckers. Sorry, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. Spirit, guys, but. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll just play. I just play it, God. All right. Love Angels. We call on White Light of Protection. Can you give me one love card for my bonus Leo reading? You had compromise with the angels last time. Angels said they want you to compromise or you've been compromised. Express your love, Leo. Okay. Somebody needs to express their love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Oh, that was that page. Y'all gotta go back and watch that video. Either you, Leo, or somebody you are dealing with that you're probably not in contact with. Or whatever that you had set up boundaries detached from. <sighs> Once they express their love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, Leo. Somebody, either you want to do that or somebody want to do that to you. Reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. Somebody want to reconcile. Are we still recording? Hey, hey. Go, Leo. It's your birthday. Go, Leo. It's your birthday. Okay, we're going to do the energy cards again. Energy, energy, energy. Holy Spirit, what do you have for my Leos? What other messages do you have for my Leos or Leos person? I put yourself where you belong. You know your story. This is a general collective reading, but somebody wants to express their feelings and reconcile with you. But it looked like from the last real thing, you got a lot of haters. And the person, I think the person who want to come towards you, Leo, you got, they have been fighting off a lot of competition because you got some people that envy you, don't like you, whatever. Who gives a fuck? People swear they your damn God. But somebody want to reconcile or express their love to you. <sighs> back to, we need back to do this shit again. Okay, we got Thinking Man. Overall energy. Hmm. 
Somebody is tired of overthinking shit. Adjacent possibilities. I take it how it face me. You and this person mirror each other. Oh. Okay, so this is this is the second and hostilities. Okay. Okay. The first part one, you had you were setting up boundaries from some people you was attached to, or your person is setting up boundaries from some people they was attached to, and there's a lot of hostility. And the five of wands was out in the reading before. This one in the same position, but a different negative card. First, in the first video, motherfucker was envy. Was he denied some type of deception? Woo, child. Mm, mm, mm. Someone, you mirroring someone. I don't think it's, it's from these people who you've been fighting and having, uh, who've been deceiving you. I don't think that's where this is coming from. Somebody has not been thinking. Somebody's been overthinking. Somebody needs to know and love their words. I think this came out in today's spiritual uh, thinking man in reverse. This came out in um, today's spiritual message news. If you watch it, I do it on TikTok. I usually write the full version of it <sighs> on Instagram with the video. Okay, Leo. Yeah, somebody has been overthinking or not thinking straight. You feel like there's a lot of possibilities with this individual. Someone, you want to express your love to this person or this person want to do it to you. Y'all both mirroring each other. Y'all probably not communicating right now. You both want the same things. You want reconciliation and you both want to express your love. But on this side of town, what's hidden is there, there's some deceit going on. And some type of hostility that you need to deal with first. So maybe you got somebody that you want to uh, express your love with and reconcile. Financial constraints, yeah. Money might be an issue for you right now on why you cannot uh, explore these possibilities or different possibilities. I don't know. But there's some goddamn deception going on. Oh, Lord. We, are we still rolling? I don't know what the fuck is this deception. You had... um. Somebody was envying a divine feminine or some type of feminine energy in your life, or you could be a feminine energy. Oh, Lord. Maybe your person's karmic is envying you and always bringing up your name and causing fights. I think I said that in the last video, but it had cut off, and I don't know where it cut off yet. What is this deceit card about for my Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. What is this deceit card about? A divine masculine? Oh, my goodness. A narcissist. Your divine... Okay, if you're a woman watching this, and since these fell out together, I don't... You can have masculine energy. There's, this a, there's a narcissist or whatever, but because this says divine masculine, I don't think anyone who's divine is narcissist. So... Your person, your divine masculine, if you are feminine energy or don't gender don't count, is dealing with a narcissist that's very deceptive. And a lot of hostilities is going on. Ooh, what else? Uh, ooh. Standing in their power. Oh, yeah, you or your person feel like uh, they can't stand in their power. Probably because of financial constraints. And they don't know how the fuck they're going to get out this stuff out this situation. Burn it through money. Somebody's a thief, a user, and burn it through money. And it's causing a lot of fights and arguments. Somebody is out, out of fucking control. Mm. If this ain't too real, if this is the person your person is dealing with. Or you, the person you're dealing with is... Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, we got the devil at the bottom. I think in the first video, we did talk about uh, someone was only offered like a page because they don't trust your intentions. And I think, uh, what else I said? What else happened in that first video? Oh, yeah, the person you was dealing with don't trust you because um, 
They think you're still attached to the devil. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, you you still attached. And the devil energy could be a person, a behavior, a way of being, all that shit. Okay. All right. Let me get another some more messages for my Leo. Ooh, that's a song. Somebody make you happy, Leo. Somebody make you have somebody loves you, baby. Oh, 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 somebody. That's why right here. I heard that song in my that spirit just gave me that. Somebody loves you. Somebody you mirroring and bring you happiness. That's your card, Leo, the sun. That's one of the happiest cards of the day. I think you overthinking this situation, though, Leo. Probably because you're dealing with a motherfucker deceptive ass narcissist that you need to get rid of. <sighs> what other messages do we got for my Leos? Somebody loves you, baby. Ooh. Somebody want to rush in. They've been trying. They've been healing from something or someone. Yeah, Leo. So, um, some information. Somebody might rush in, or you gonna rush in and bring some type of message. Woo! What's hidden is Leo. Your person is running away from a tower moment. Your person just recently had a tower moment, and they've been trying to rest and heal. You and this person probably, uh, you and this person mirroring each other. This person probably hurt you for these, for this narcissistic people or individual. And, uh, ooh, yeah, your person is going through a tower moment right now. They're dealing with some type of narcissist that's preventing them from standing through their power, been burning through their money, and they're a thief and a user. Ooh, shit. Mm -mm -mm. Scratch a laugh, find a thief. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This person is trying to heal, Leo. They're going to come in with some fat. Ooh. King of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces water sign, Scorpio. King of Cups in reverse. This person no longer want to hold their emotions back. Or you're no longer going to be holding your emotions back. You're going to stand in your power. Yeah, Leo, because you've been dealing with somebody who's very deceptive and a thief and a user. And you're no longer going to hold your emotion back. And you're going to speak your mind and tell you how and, and, and say how you really fucking feel. You've been meditating, trying to heal from this situation. God is with you. This magician card, mirror card is my God card, too. God is here and God has been helping you heal from some type of situation. You got a lot of possibilities, and that shit gonna come in fast. The moment you heal from the situation and release it, somebody um is no longer gonna. Hold, also, for some of you, somebody's no longer gonna hold their emotions back for you, Leo. And they're gonna express some love to you, because with the King of Cups in the upright. That's a person that holds and hides their emotions. Some a water sign. What did they reverse? This person might be coming in um, a little beat up because they've been fighting and dealing with deceptive ass people. What's hidden is if this ain't you and you the outside looking in, what's hidden is there was a tower moment from a narcissist thief. And when we got reconciliation, express your love. Your person probably chose this person over you. Oh, that's why I'm part one, the angel of love, the page. Yeah. You don't trust this person in uh, intentions. Yeah. Cool. We got a matching pair of queen of cups in reverse. So this person is going to pour out their love. Some type of, ooh, two of cups. Some type of decision is going to be made. But someone uh, maybe still be attached to a devil or devil energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. <sighs> Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this just drained me just even talking about this shit, Leo. Why is the King of Cups in... Uh, what happened when they made the King of Cups go in reverse? 
a while, all of a sudden you just gonna quit holding back, Leo. If this ain't this, if this ain't a, a person or this is an energy, and you not no, you no longer gonna hold your emotions back. You are gonna let it all out. What's gonna happen? <sighs> this is a lot of fucking cards. Oh, this person probably is a sex addict. They're surprised by your strength. They've been in an unhealthy environment with a Scorpio or Aquarius. Mm. There's a lot of injustice and, and this shit was very injustice and toxic. This person know they owe you some type of apology too, Leo. Or you owe this person an apology. But what's hitting is it's a tower moment about to go down with a masculine energy. This narcissist female or mad narcissist masculine. Yeah. Pre pre been preventing your person or you, Leo, from standing in their power. Someone is someone is overwhelmed. Ooh, oh, spirit is a oh, and when a cancer or a water sign, especially cancers, ooh, the child, bless her heart. When they've been holding back and stay to try to compromise, because you could have strong water in your chart, Leo. You know, take this how it resonates. Fuck the signs. Look at I'll, I'll focus on the energy. When this water sign let all that emotion out, and they feel like their power has been taken, and this and that, and they've been dealing with a deceptive individual. Ain't gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be some hostilities, all right. Fire gonna come out this water sign mouth. And it's coming and, and the shit's about to happen real fast with this King of Swords. Leo, you gonna get this information. You gonna find out about this shit. This shit gonna suddenly come. It's gonna be real fast. Somebody is no longer overthinking or somebody is not thinking. Do I want to do it? Oh, yeah. Let's do go to Mr. B's. This is for my Leos that's not in communication with their person. Certain situations. You know what? I didn't even mean. I use it on pull up vice card for um signs. But when I grab this, when I grab this deck, I grab this card. And that one ain't supposed to be there. But I believe it resonates or goes with it. Said, Are you willing to bend a little today? Yeah, you had compromise in the first video. Certain situations call for you to be in, in the most appropriate direction, okay? So, yeah, Leo, you're going to have to be in, in the most appropriate direction. you have to let your emotions out. Do it efficiently, though. I don't know if that's going to help because Leos don't give a fuck. Especially sun sign Leos. And they just don't give a fuck at all. Maybe if they got a little water in their Venus. Yeah, help. Mm -hmm. Leo, okay. This from if you're not in communication with your person, your person wants you to know that they're working on themselves. I was at the bottom of the deck. How many are we gonna take? We're gonna take. Oh my god. Why is all these cards all mixed up? Ooh. Be aware of a dirty offer, Leo. Coming from a masculine energy. Or uh, a, f a female with a lot of masks. Be aware of a dirty offer. Mm. Okay. Any any messages for my Leo? We're going to take five cards. From the Misty B. Hidden uh, messages. Okay. It said, you are one of a kind. What else do we have for my Leo? I'm going to make it up to you. Somebody want, Somebody said they're going to make it up to you. Yeah. Yeah, this person probably told somebody else over you with the uh, express their love and reconciliation. Either they uh, accepted some type of dirty offer and was this, it was deceptive or you need to be aware of a dirty offer. Somebody's getting a divorce. <sighs> One, two, three, four. This is four. I communicate with you through music. Mm -hmm. Five, 
Please save a spot for me in your heart. And they remember you. I don't know why I did that. I said only five for y'all. Y'all so fucking spoiled, y'all. Y'all got two videos. And, um... Yeah, also at the bottom of the deck, a person said they're having some money issues. So, here we go. Somebody need to get a divorce. And they're having... And they, or someone's getting a divorce and they're having some money issues. This is for non-communication Leos. This person says that you are one of a kind. I am going to make it up to you. I communicate with you through music and they remember you. Probably a past life soulmate or someone that you've been dealing with for a very long time. Or before you got into this deceptive, not a uh, situation with this narcissistic person. Or before they did. Apply a high goal, shit. Uh, <laughs> but, and they want you to save a place for them, but they hardly, yo. <laughs> I know y'all be like, this bitch is so impatient. I am. I'm working on it, though. You know. Maybe that's my Jupiter and Leo. I don't know. Well, I hope you like this reading. I hope this brings some type of clarity. I don't be giving a fuck too much about the outcome because somebody is about to come out, about to speak their feelings, and it might not be necessarily pretty. Be aware of a deceptive offer uh, that portray themselves as your divine masculine. Narcissist. Some type of tower moment going on. If you don't need it, if you're not involved and you're on the outside looking in, your person is this is what's going on with your person. Okay, they're dealing with a thief, a narcissistic person. And somebody wants to um reach out and reconcile. You, you are the sunshine. Oh, in the first part, too, Leo. Their karmic partner knows that they are still attached to you. And they envy and jealous the fuck out of you. And and what also here is that they always be fighting about, they be arguing and fighting about you more than you ever would know or realize. That shit crazy because the karmics keep bringing up your name and shit and all that. But mm -hmm. you just, if you the outside looking in and somebody need to get a divorce or whatever, you stay out that shit. This person um, is saying they're having some money issues. So, either way, if this person is still in a contract, you 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 need to stay out that shit and let them deal with that, okay? Or if you're still in a contract and you got somebody that you want or that you're dealing with, this envy and deceptive, you need to... Uh, but you before you reconcile or make the love suggestion, you need to um get get this shit taken care of. You need to get your divorce and handle your money issues. All right, Leo, that was your bonus pop up love reading. I'm out. Ain't that right, Benito? Hey, the Benito. Hey. All right, I love you all, Leo. This was your pop up love reading. Peace out.